Okay, now we're going to try and use this um, shortcut derivative formula, which is ba the only one you have to learn in um, matric in this country. And let's just get started. We're going to do, do some questions. That, that are, All of these questions, I think, are from past exams. So let's just take a look. Sometimes you can get one that's really easy. And, and, and what is the thing? You have to make sure that it's in the form of a sum number, could be nothing like 1, x to some power, and packages of that. So it has to be, it has to be like that, so that you can take the exponent, multiply it by the coefficient, and then subtract 1 from the exponent. You just keep doing the same thing every time. So you're trying to find the derivative of this. So you go 3 times 2 is 6x, and you subtract 1, 6x squared, and that's all there is to it. 3, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Subtract 1 from there, it's x to the first power. This is really, you could say, x to the 0 here. The derivative of a constant is nothing, so it's just, it's just 0. Okay, let's try the next question, different notation find the derivative of this. Well, you can't work with this because it's got to be in the form of ax to a power. So just multiply it out. 2x squared minus 6x plus x is minus 5x. 1 times minus 3 is minus 3. Now it's in the form you can do it. You go 2 times 2, bring it down 1. This is 1 times minus 5 is minus 5. And then it's x to the 1 minus uh, 1 is 0. In fact, the derivative of a linear term like this is always just the coefficient. You just drop the x, and that's the derivative. But you're following this formula again and again. Here, find the derivative of this whole function here in terms of t. Well, this is all t. Well, how the heck are we going to do this? It's got to be in this form of just a number times the letter to a power. Well, hey, this looks like I could factor and cancel. I want to write t can't be equal to minus 2 because it would make it 0 and it would make the function undefined. But if you factor out t plus 2 in the top, it cancels. You just have t plus 3. When you find the derivative, it's just this one letter here, 1 times 1, and then you bring it down 1, it's t to the 0. The derivative is just 1. Let's look at this one. Okay, now these aren't in the right form uh, in a way. You want to make this 1 over 3. And this, you have to change to a negative power. So make it 1 over 3x squared. Make it 3 times x to the minus 3. Now you can do it. 2 times a third is 2 thirds, and bring it down 1. Minus 3 times 3 is minus 9, and bring it down 1 to minus 4. And that's how you do it. It's a little weird at first, but you always just keep doing the same thing. Multiply it by what's in front and subtract 1. What about this one here? Well, this one is another x to the minus 3. But when you have a third uh, like this, this is a square root. And you have to know that that's really to the half power. It's 3 times a half, which is 3 over 2. So you've got to put this in the right form. The derivative of this function right here, it's 4x to the minus 3 minus x to the 3 over 2. If that was cubed root, you divide by 3. Fourth or fifth, the uh, root goes in the bottom there. You have to know that. Now you just multiply it by what's in front. Minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. Subtract 1 from minus 3. There's your derivative. Now 3 halves times minus 1 is minus 3 halves. And 3 halves take away 2 halves, or 1, is just a half. And that's your answer. Now, you can leave it in this form. You don't have to put it in any other form. You, you get all the answers on the exam. So there you go.